Yo, 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 what's up, gang? Grapple Gang, I'm Cartoon Cory, and here are mistakes in SpongeBob. By the way, make sure to subscribe as I respond to the comments of all subscribers. So if you want to talk to me, Cartoon Cory, literally click subscribe right now. Do it, and I'll respond to your comment in the next two days. Anyways, let's get into these mistakes. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. It's so beautiful. First up is the episode Choir Boys, which has some wild mistakes. Roll the clips, here's the first one. Ah, looks like a forlorn SpongeBob lying sprawled across the dirt. Oh, what a lovely day for me! <laughs> huh? Squidward, my playmate Patrick is away. I am desperate for something to do and someone to play with. Well, I've got no time for the likes of you. This one's just really funny, like it makes me laugh, but when SpongeBob lays on the ground and puts his hand on Squidward near the beginning of the episode, um, SpongeBob's hand can be seen going through Squidward's tentacles. It clips through it, which is a major animation mistake. This is probably more of an animation glitch. I don't think the animators did it intentionally, but look at that, I'm zooming in on it. That is a mistake, and there's more. Here's the next one, roll the clip. Figaro, 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 Figaro. Stop, stop, stop. stop. I hereby issue you this ticket for reckless frowning and failing to listen to my song. So love me, SpongeBob, I will be late to practice with all of your tomfoolery slowing me down. Did you catch it? As when Squidward rips off SpongeBob's fake mustache, just saying SpongeBob looks pretty cool with a mustache. He should consider growing one out. <laughs> but when Squidward rips it off, the latter's right arm is missing for a bit. That arm is gone. Look at it, it's missing. It's disappeared. Talk about a mistake, guys. Let's keep it moving though and head over to another mistake. That is some unbelievable mistakes that you've never seen before. So stay tuned. What? Yeah. Help three! Darn it! I'll get you next time! One, two, three. Darn it! One, two, three. Darn it! Let's keep it going with SpongeBob season six. You know, it isn't the best season, but what I can say for sure is a lot of season six episodes have mistakes. I don't know what was going on, if the animators got lazy in season six, but we're gonna be talking about pineapple fever. Here is the first mistake. Did somebody say something to eat? <laughs> My food! Your food? <laughs> Is this really what we've come to? Hey, did you hear that? Oh, it's just Patrick gnawing on his can. So take a look at this can that Patrick is chewing on, okay? When Patrick first gets the can, it has a yellow label, as you can see right here. I'm zooming in on it, I'm circling it. As you can see, and remember guys, that label is yellow. But when SpongeBob says that the noise was Patrick chewing on the can, it now has a red label. Like what? How did it change randomly? First it was yellow, then halfway through it changes to red. And it isn't a different can. I know this for sure, it's the same can. So the animators must have messed up and forgot that it was originally yellow. Mistakes happen, and here's another mistake in this episode. I have an even better idea. It's a game called Boundaries. It's very simple. The object of the game is to see how long everyone can leave Squidward alone. He will stay inside boundaries he defines with chalk lines on the floor. Did you catch it? Well, if you did, I'm impressed because this one is easy to miss. But when SpongeBob looks at the chalk Squidward threw down, his lower lip is black when it's supposed to be red. I'm zooming in here and yeah, his lower lip is black. SpongeBob, man, you need to go have a shower or something. I don't know how your bottom lip is black. That is gnarly, dude. But yeah, two mistakes in this one episode, guys. Jeez. Let's keep it moving though and head over to another episode. Stay tuned, guys, because I'm saving some of the craziest mistakes for last and you don't want to miss them. How you like me now? I like you this much!
we're going to be talking about this season six episode, Sandcastles in the Sand. Keep those eyes peeled. Roll the footage. <laughs> We've been abandoned! No! No! Oh, no one's ever gonna find us out here! Oh, 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 oh. Little help, brah. Look, Patrick, we made it! Hey, best friend. So as you just seen, SpongeBob and Patrick get kicked off of the bus beside this road. I want you guys to remember this road right here. I'm circling it, I'm zooming in. There is a road right here, all right? Then SpongeBob says, no one is ever going to find us out here. And now this road has just disappeared, like it's gone. <laughs> the road is literally just gone. It was there in this shot, now it's gone. I don't know what happened, but talk about some cartoon logic for sure. Again, I'm always gonna say, guys, this is a cartoon, so I know why this happened, but it was some weird continuity, and every time I watch this episode now, I notice it, and it looks really rough. But anyways, let's move over to another episode. Let's go. SpongeBob, come in here. <laughs> or should I say Robot Bob Sponge Shift Pants? I put the brain in the robot, you know. You know, Plankton is a very evil guy, but have you ever wondered what would happen if SpongeBob went to work at the Chum Bucket? Well, this is exactly what happens in Welcome to the Chum Bucket, a season two banger. Here are some clips from the episode. It's really funny. One Krabby Patty coming up, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> oh, Mr. Krabs. Is there anything that old Skin Flint Krabs wouldn't let you have? Well, wow. So now, do you have everything you need to make some Krabby Patties? Well... You ready to make some patties? Wait till I finish my ice cream. Here's the thing, guys. As you know, when you take a bath, you don't wear clothes, right? You take off all of your clothes, okay? Well, when SpongeBob is seen bathing in the Krusty Krab kitchen during this scene while eating an ice cream, we can see his sleeves, which is totally a mistake. SpongeBob is in the bath. He shouldn't have his sleeves on his shirt. That just makes no sense. This was like a major mistake. It's like the animators forgot to take off the sleeves when they drew this one. So yeah, a pretty bad mistake, but let's keep it moving and head over to another mistake in this episode. The sign says kitchen, but my heart says jail. This grill is not a home. This is not the stove I know. This kitchen's not the same without you. It's just a grill, it's just a greasy spoon without you. Now for this one to really make sense, I want you guys to take a look at this shot of the chum bucket, okay? So for one, as you can see, the chum bucket writing is red, okay? It's red. And the chum bucket writing is on the front of the restaurant directly above the door. Right here, I'm circling it, okay? Now, in this one shot of Welcome to the Chum Bucket during the song section, it's a really good song, by the way, the chum bucket logo is on the side of the building instead of being above the doors where it usually sits. Furthermore, the text is also blue. Now this might be due to it being nighttime, but it being dark out wouldn't change the entire color of like the text. It would still be red like it's supposed to be in this shot, but here it's blue and the text is on the wrong side. So this was just a weird one. I wouldn't call this a mistake. The animators probably just did this to make their lives easier, but that's not how it's supposed to look, guys. So yeah. Stay tuned though, guys. I got our last episode next and this one has some wild mistakes. You've never seen these ones before. If SpongeBob does not pass this one, it means another whole year of boarding school! Aww. What happened? Oh, nothing, SpongeBob. You just struck another pedestrian. Minus 20 more points. Next up is the episode No Free Rides. This is a classic episode, and just to refresh your memory, here are some clips from the episode. Here's your license. My license. Ta-da! A brand new boatmobile! What have I done? Everyone will know that I let him slide through school. I've got to end this thing before it begins. I hope I still remember how to do this. Arg! I'd never let you have this boat. Not even if you were... <gasps> Mrs. Puff? What a classic episode, am I right? I love this one. Now, what I missed when I was a kid, though, were the mistakes in this episode. Here's the first mistake. Keep those eyes peeled. <laughs>
Did you catch it? Now, this is more of an animation error, and it's not that big of a deal because it's a cartoon. But when SpongeBob gets graded by cheese graters, that would be a terrible way to die. His eyes come out of the cheese graters several times. This would only happen one time. His eyes would go through once, they'd be shredded. It's not like SpongeBob has multiple pairs of eyes. So this was a bit of a weird mistake on the animator's end. And that's not it for this episode. I have another one. Now just stay in bed and no going near the boat. Hi, Bodie. Oh, Bodie, you're cold. Take my socks. Oh, Bodie. You're the best boat in the deep blue sea. So as you just seen, SpongeBob gives the boat his socks, all right? He takes them off and gives them to the boat. But then how does he have them back on as soon as he hops into the boat's side? Again, this is just cartoon logic, right? It's fine, but it's still a bit of a funny continuity error. It's like the dude literally just gave him his socks. Now somehow he magically has them back on, whatever. Now that's going to do it for today's video, guys. But listen, if you want more SpongeBob mistakes, click this video right here. Click it, do it right now. I'll see you guys over there, and we'll be talking about more mistakes, mistakes you've never heard before. And honestly, they're even crazier than the mistakes I just mentioned. So click it, do it now. Click it, and I'll bring you a Krabby Patty to your house. Anyways, I'll see you on that next video. Click it, peace.